guys, Joe Blue here. Uh, I'm just going to start off with this quick one. Uh, some of the footage of this was missing. Basically, the setup is uh, the clue went red, and um, this guy just wouldn't push. And uh, it just made me think that he knew exactly where I was. Either way, he's creeped to me. I've never heard any footsteps. Yeah, you can say it's the rain or whatever, but there's a few instances here where it made me think this guy's got wall hacks. <laughs> Almost looks like there is. Barely hear those footsteps. Skip forward a bit. <laughs> Somehow, somehow he shoots me there. Not sure from what angle, from what position. But that's a little bit of a sus shot. <laughs> at the exact same time that I shoot the barrel, the guy takes a shot at me. I can't, can't actually see where this guy is actually shooting from. So the shot sounds like it seems like it's coming from straight ahead where the angle is, but you can't you can't see anybody in front of me, which makes me think he's taking the shot through a wall, like through a bit of wood that he can shoot through, and he's using wall hacks to hit me because I can't actually visually see the guy like uh, any anywhere like from that direction that bullet's coming from. So I run around, run around the outside, trying to get an angle on this guy. <clears throat> so I ran all the way around. I basically have dropped down here. I've run outside the outside here, gone all the way around. So yeah, you can see he hears my footsteps, but I uh, step out of here. He's immediately running, run, following my direction across, and looking straight at me. Takes a shot there. Bit of a bit of a dodgy angle to really be taking a shot on. Um, like that shot there. Like you barely got full vision of me. Sure, if you've got wall hacks and you can see me through the wall, you might take a shot thinking I might step out or like pre attempted to pre fire. That, that little tiny bit there. It's like he starts shooting as well. It's like, I think he's trying to shoot me through the haystack, through the wood and through the haystack. Yeah, the shots are not going. Look, he's just shooting with nothing. He's behind this haystack here. There he is. He pops out immediately, looking straight at me. It hits me straight away, instant reaction. Doesn't miss. Like, he doesn't miss. The only times he doesn't hit is when he's trying to shoot me through, like, a wood fence and a haystack all at the same time. Because that's what those sh shots are. He's trying to shoot me through the haystack and the bullets aren't penetrating through the through the fence and the haystack. Look, he's trying to shoot me there. Try to take a shoot. So he tries to take two shots through the haystack at me. One there. And a second one there. So he attempted to shoot me through the wood in the haystack like twice. And steps out bank, looking straight at me, dot on perfect. Which, realistically, most people would have to at least, you know, look in the general direction and then adjust. This guy looks like he's looking straight at me. Yeah, sure, you can hear my footsteps on the metal, but still. <laughs> so I run, I throw two grenades out. I run out. Guy shoots me perfectly, hit through the fence and hits me while I'm running. So he knew when I left. He didn't really react to the grenades. 
like in the way that you'd expect and uh, just took a shot straight through the fence which again is all just leading to the fact that this guy's he's got war hacks right? <laughs> Is hit by my, I think either the sticky or the frag didn't die. But bear in mind he's, he's taking damage. Now he's moving back and forth, so his footsteps, so he's not like healing. You can't hear him heal. So. There's no, there's no indication that this guy's healed at all. Uh. Alright, so he's got slapped in the, in the, in the arm or the chest. I'm not sure where. It's probably an arm shot. But he's basically been hit by a frag or a sticky. No signs that he actually healed or anything. Then takes a shot. Um, uh. Probably. Uh. And somehow this guy's over there now. It's like, how did he do that fucking magic? All right. How's he done that? So we're here, right? And here is footsteps, perfectly fine. Right, so I was running. I can hear his running footsteps. So he's running over here. He hasn't gone. This is the opening into the field here. In order to get to this other side, you'd have to run right up here through the fence. And I did blow up the yellow, yellow barrel. Um, so it, it might have been set on fire. I'm not sure if the rain um, it took it out or not. <coughs> right, so it's not. The fire's still going, so we can't go that way. So how has he got over there? How is he able to do that? Right, so he's running this way. <laughs> Takes a hit. I mean, the only thing is, is that he ran left. As I, run, as I went right, he went left. But it looked like he was running around this way. It's like, but it's like, if he, if he was running that way, he could see I was running right. Then why wouldn't he just take another shot and finish me off? Right, it's just very strange. Because you never heard his footsteps run that direction. Or any direction. It's like he turned off this turned off the footsteps. <coughs> so right there. You hear one little splash here. But that's it. And then he's like gone. It's like he just he turned his footsteps off. Like redirected his direction. Just to throw me off. So he's like, he was running left. He wanted to go that way. And he's thought he'll deviate right. <coughs> Took a hit. And then he's right there. He's like toggled his footsteps off. And basically ran the other way. Thinking, oh, that, that'll throw, throw me off. We don't see a glimpse of him going that way. It totally looks like he just toggled his footsteps off, ran back in the other direction. Makes me making me think that he's just hiding around this corner while he gets away scot free. And it's only because he runs into a zombie or a grunt or whatever and he has to hit him that I even knew that he was over there. Funny, it's funny how like I can hear that in the rain, which is further distance, but I can't hear footsteps that are like within a within a ten meter range of my location. Even though I could clearly hear his footsteps from the similar distance, like only moments before. Then as soon as he decides to toggle those footsteps off, oh, all of a sudden he cheers, oh the rain's the rain's masking his footsteps. So I can't see him through the corn, thinking I can try to get a better angle on the guy. 
soon as I, as soon as I step out, as soon as I go around here, like bang, he's looking at me straight away. I bang, he's looking straight at me through the trees. I've gone around the other side. He's looking directly at me. And it's like, uh, that's pretty much like, we've got multiple instances where it looks like he's got war hacks. And then this is a, this is kind of like the icing on the cake, isn't it? At this point, he's looking directly at me. Ah! Oh. Of course, it doesn't miss. With a headshot as well. Instant, like, reaction. He must have been pre-firing that. How are you going to get a headshot? Like, as soon as I come from the tree line, bang, headshot. Without without having prior knowledge that I'm, I'm there with war hacks. It's like, that's very, very tricky to do. <clears throat> right. Okay, so this is just a case of aimbot. It's straight up aimbot, man. Like, absolutely, 100% aimbot. Um, I'm dealing with the assassin. No chance. No chance. That's war hacks and aimbot. No way. So. So they're not even looking at me. The friends probably just seen me on my war hacks. Told them, oh, there's a dude right behind you. And looking straight. Look, she's looking at me straight away as well. Like they both got war hack aimbot on, man. You know what I'm saying? Right? So I'm there. Look, she's looking at me already. Look at this shit. She's looking straight at me already. He could say, oh, she's looking at the open door, but like, come on. So she's there, and oh, look, there's a dude there. They're not even looking at me. They're running the other way. You know, there's a dude right there. Right behind me. And look, straight away, they're looking straight at me again. Instant reaction, bang. Straight in the head, down. Yeah, sure. Called Hitman. Yeah, I'm the Hitman, man. I assassinate people. That's what I do, man. I'm just, just a badass, man. I've got my war axe and my aim bar. I think that's, I think that's your aim bar right there. You've got to understand that the spectate in Hunt Showdown is so inaccurate. Like, you know, you've you've all seen it. Whenever, you've had, whenever you're spectating, like, a partner, and, uh, you like, if you see their footage... Like, I've seen friends' footage where they've shot somebody completely accurately, but then on the, on your spectate, it's like they never even hit the person, right? So you've got this sort of, like, delayed, not really seeing what's really happening properly. I'm absolutely 100%, let's say 99.9% .9 convinced Crytek has done that on purpose to make it more difficult for you to detect people using aimbot. Because if there's a delay... Um, in, uh, inherent in the spectate in itself, then it means by the time that you've seen an aimbot snapped, you'll seen a delayed version of it. So it's not going to look like really snappy aimbot. So when you've got something that looks quite close to an aimbot in Hunt Showdown, it's almost certainly an, an aimbot. Um, so that right there, like what? You wasn't even aiming on the guy, right? So. Like the, the ADS, they've not, they're, they're not fired on the target. It's like a Fortnite thing. They've not even aimed on the target. Yeah, they've got the hit. So this is because of the delayed reaction. They've already zoomed in and snapped and got the hit. But because the spectator is inaccurate, they take the shot before the crosshair is even on the target, making it more difficult in, in most scenarios to detect whether it's an aimbot or not. And then... Look at this, the, the way it follows and tracks is like very strange. It's like very smooth, immediately following directly to the target. It's very strange. But I think this is, I think we can use this as a, as a, uh, um, 
example of what an aimbot looks like in Hunt Showdown Spectate. I'm pretty sure I'm 90%. I mean, I'm actually 100% certain that, you know, 99% certain that that person that hit me was, was an aimbot. Bang, instant, bang, in the head. And I'm pretty sure this is good evidence of what an aimbot looks like in the Spectate of Hunt Showdown. Okay, and then we look at their Hitman's uh, account here. He's got a, a KDA of 2.33. He's just been headshotting people, doming people. Left, right, and center. Brand new account. Fresh account. Only one duo's wiped. Boss target skills. So this guy's just been doming people. Like, back, like, just, just got the game. Fresh new account. Cheater account. And just doming everyone with his, uh, with his uh, aimbot. And then he's got 18-year account. With uh, 50 plus games, minimum 50 games. It's basically it's a cheater, cheater account. And I mean, 18 years, man, you'd have more than 50 games. And some of those are probably free to play games. We know we've been through this all before. This looks like a cheater account. And of course, I think I say to this guy, like, you know, I'm trying to like understand the psychology of these people. And it's like, um, you know, what what do you get out of it? I mean, you're just holding down a button and watching the game play itself you're not even playing the game it's like what are you like are you like five years old do you like in your spare time get like a coat and like tie it around your neck like a cape and pretend you're superman because that's the equivalency of what you're doing you're tying a coat around your neck pretending you're superman pretending that you're good at games you're not good at games and if you're getting any enjoyment out of it it's because you're delusional you 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 mentally something wrong in your brain like, anybody with any sense would, would not get any enjoyment out of watching the game being played for them and pretending that you're playing the game. It's absolutely batshit crazy. So this is the interesting part of the game where this is where I catch a teleporter. 100%. There's no, no way around it. Guy is teleporting. So I've picked up the bounty. I've got the bounty. I uh dark sight over here see that there's two people here you then hear a death scream and then i read dark sight and there's only one person there so presumably this person on the right dies okay just just note let's just go back here let's just note there's no one else there when i uh dark sight for the second time there's no one else there the other person that was there is either teleported or died most likely it's the person who just died Dark side again, there's no one else around. Remember, it's like 150 meter radius or whatnot. So there's only this person here. There's nobody else here. All right, I'm fine. Fuck it. I'm not dealing with the one shot martini at this range. So I'm just going to go in bare knuckle. Oh. Can, we just, uh, can we just scan this room real quick? Before before we continue on, well, back up, back up, back up. Right. So we're running through. Right. There's no one here. There's no one there. There's no one around any corners. There's no one there except for this person on the left. Run in. Punch him. Right. We're gonna go frame by frame by frame by frame by frame. Right. Now we'll go frame by frame. And boom. There's a dude there. Like there's no one else in the area. So. There's no footsteps. You don't hear anybody ever come to this area. No footsteps behind me. No one moved with me. Right? And nobody, and this is the, this is the absolute bit of logic that 100% proves this person's just teleported here. Nobody walks into buildings backwards. Right? No one walks through a building backwards. You don't go, oh, there's a fire going on there. Well, let me just turn around. Let me moonwalk in to my, to my enemies and then do a little 180. You know what I mean? Just, just a little moonwalk my way in there silently. No, no one does that. This guy's just teleported in. And he gets knocked out as well. But that's teleport. 100% teleporter. Can't convince me otherwise. And I'm saying 100%. There's just no way. You know, they've got to turn around 
to uh, look at me or whatever. So let me let's go slow mo. Let's go fifty percent speed. They they teleported in, mate. They teleported in. And uh, basically looking through the uh, through the different profiles here, trying to figure out which one was the one that I killed that was teleporting. We've got this guy here, Sweezy33. He's only got 1.2 hours on record. Uh, 25 game minimum 25 games and eight year account or zero 150 perfect one kda basically brand new account and then the the next dude this rolly pop he's got a kda of 50 basically no no stats at all fresh account Ooh, we got a vac ban on record here what do you think the likelihood is um that this is our teleporter. These two guys here were the duo that I originally fought at the start of the of the game. I think it's this guy here I killed twice. Killed this guy once. And um killed these two as well. Um killed both of these two as well. And this guy, this is from the duo that I killed at the end. This is seemingly one of these is a teleporter. Do you know what I'm saying? One of these is the person that teleported. And just one of them. Both of them will have fresh accounts. Like the fresh back to cheating. And this one has a vac ban. So I think it's highly likely that Ryo Pip here is our teleport cheater. So I want to quickly add in here that uh, Ryo Pip here, or whatever his name is, who I claim is. The two on teleporting it can't actually be him because I killed him first. The one that I killed last was Sweezy33, so it must have been Sweezy33 that was the teleporter. 